Hello, the world of uh, cricket, batting with Yoda Hirsch, Simon Frayne here, cricket head, helping you with your mental, emotional processes and landscape. Hey, today I want to talk about uh, thinking for yourself and taking advice. So in the world of cricket, obviously it pays to take advice from those who know, but there's a point at which that you should think for yourself. So I think here's the the golden rule and the division between the two. If you're still working your game out and it's in your benefit to take advice from wise people who know, then take their advice. But as I say, like Bruce Lee's quote, adapt what is useful, reject what is useless and apply what is specifically your own. Which leads me to think for yourself when taking advice when you've already developed your technique to a certain a certain uh, dimension and level where you know it's successful to at least some extent. I had a very personal experience with this uh, and I'm quite passionate about, passionate about this point because sometimes players have developed their game out and someone else will suggest to them or the demand from them to change their technique when it's not necessary. So I was in the state Western Australian squad when I was a 20 year old and uh, had a very good technique, was making runs against some international players, fast bowlers. And uh, when I got into that, that squad, it was suggested to me by the then coach to change my technique, essentially the pattern of my footwork. I went from being a really strong driver and a great uh, aggressive stroke maker all over the, all over the field to all of a sudden getting caught in the slips uh, because I was going back and across where previously that wasn't my foot pattern. So the point here isn't about me and my bloody sob story. The point here is to think for yourself as to what is really going to benefit you. So had I had the strength of will uh, at the time, I would have taken that advice and just said, thanks very much, but I'm going to stick to the way that I am. So think for yourself with regard to all things but with regard to your cricket particularly and you'll be far better off put that into action